there's so many reasons why this could be elevated. Again, mine are elevated, directly correlated to the double tap, right? The, the yeah. first one and the booster. Um, I have longitudinal data that goes back like three years. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I see a clear correlation. But of course, with you, um, we don't really know. What is yeah. of note is that I see this more often than not in bodybuilders because we train yeah. a lot. We use our heart a lot. The last marker that I made you test, because I was <laughs> curious, is your troponin I, which is elevated, 59 nanograms per liter. Uh, nanograms per liter. Pretty high. Now, is, this a high, is that a high sensitivity test or a regular test? Uh, I think it's high, high sensitivity, I think, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's close this off and hopefully the internet connection gets a bit better. So there's for the, for the people at, uh, at home to know, you have three troponin levels. You have a troponin C, a troponin I, and a troponin T. A troponin C is uh, the exact same between skeletal muscle and uh, heart muscle. But troponin I and T, it's a little bit different between skeletal muscle and heart muscle. So if you do a high sensitivity troponin I or T test and it's elevated, then it's coming from your heart. Now, did you ever test this before? Or was this the first time? First time. Never tested it. First time, yes. Yeah, so we, we don't have any longitudinal data. If you if you got this before getting, uh, you know, the complimentary government, um, you know, tap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or um, that it, this was elevated because you had an elevated coronary uh, or a CAC score, right? And that maybe caused it to uh, elevate. So usually it's in cases of um, the heart not getting enough oxygen in a particular case. And that's why your troponin I and T levels go up. That's the most mm -hmm. common. But there's there's so many reasons why this could be elevated. Again, mine are elevated, directly correlated to the double tap, right? The, the yeah. first one and the booster. Um, I have longitudinal data that goes back like three years. Yeah. <laughs> so... I see a clear correlation, but of course, with you, um, we don't really know. What is yeah. of note is that I see this more often than not in bodybuilders, because we train yeah. a lot. We use our heart a lot. Um, so here, I got a list here of uh, what can cause it to be elevated. Let me see. Uh, fast heartbeat. Yeah. High okay. pressure in the lungs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, congenitive heart failure. No, I don't think that's the case. Inflammation of the heart muscle. Uh, myocarditis. It's, uh, rings a bell. <laughs> yeah. uh, blockage of the lung oh, artery yeah. from a blood clot. Yeah. Uh, uh, prolonged exercise can also increase it, but that's usually in the case of triathlons, marathons, and that kind of stuff. Uh, injury yeah. to the heart, uh, like a car crash, for example. Heart surgery, heart muscle disorder, like cardiomyopathy and chronic kidney disease. But we just saw your creatinine and cystatin C being uh, normal. So what I would advise you to do is just when you go in for this uh, elevated CT scan, just run this past your cardiologist or uh, get the CT scan done again. Run it past your cardiologist and see if they can do any specific imaging to see if there's a structural issue. Like I've done this with the CT scan and there were no structural issues. Yeah. But on an MRI, you can see that better. Yeah. Okay. So this is just uh, yeah, a, a marker that's elevated, uh, unfortunately, in this day and age. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. I uh, I, I told mm -hmm. all my uh, all my members. I said, uh, check uh, your next blood work. Let's get these checked and see mm -hmm. get like a bigger a bigger sample size to see what's going on and you know find out. It, how big of a difference there is between people that got the shot and people that didn't and, and just kind of go from there and mm -hmm. see what's going on. Cause it's, yeah, um, it, is, it is alarming. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've been talking about this for like, well, one and a half years now and I got so much blood work. It's, it's scary. It's scary. Yeah. But then the weird thing is like people go for imaging, whether it's CT scans or MRIs or echoes and everything looks fine. Like yeah. there's no structural issues. There's no, obstruction of blood vessels or in people who are healthy, right? I mean, they might have an elevated CAC score, but that's, you don't see a clear correlation between the CAC score and, uh, you know, the, these cardiac markers. Of course, if you have severe 
plaque build up. Of course, these markers are going to be way worse. But it's, um, yeah, I wonder what it is like in other athletes because I mostly see it from strength athletes, bodybuilders, yeah. strong, strong men, that kind of stuff. But then when you look at the MMA guys, they don't really have it. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Of course, of course, we need more data. But so I took five weeks off, right? Didn't go yeah. down. That's crazy. <laughs> so it's not from training. Yeah, I said, that's bummer. I sat at home. I barely did any cardio. Didn't take any fat burners, of course. Right? Those are not allowed right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, still elevated. <laughs> so the weird thing is that like you don't have any discomfort, right? Me neither. I don't have any chest pain. I don't feel arrhythmias. Yeah. None of that. Yeah. But it's uh, it is elevated. Yeah. So this is basically the only marker that I would say, hmm, okay, be careful. But I'm still kicking. And you're no, still yeah. Kicking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, seeing seeing that number come back is is what pushed me to go ahead and, you know, get a, that that uh uh test scheduled. CCTA? Yeah, the CCTA right. scheduled. So right. take a deeper look. Yeah. Well, Right, have a deeper look, and then and then you know make the appropriate adjustments. I mean, if your if your CAC score already came down, um, of course an MRI would be good also. But then you have to get on indium, and that's pretty harsh on the kidneys. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. if you really want to do good imaging, it it, it you know you, they'll have to check your kidney function uh, because of the radioactive iodine or the gallonidium contrast that's that's quite heavy on the system. Also, that's why you can't do these too often. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they they. Uh, they wanted uh, a kidney. They wanted a blood test prior to being accepted yeah. for it. So I was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. I just got my blood work last week." So I sent it over to them, and they're like, "Okay, yeah." yeah. So, but yeah, that's yeah, something. Green light, that, yeah, double thumbs up. Right. Yeah. So there's there's several things you have to have to like qualify for it, and good kidneys is one of them. Mm-hmm. A lower resting heart rate. Uh, you need to have mm-hmm. uh, a, a good blood pressure. Um, mm-hmm. and you need to be able to fit in the machine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Are... <laughs> Do you think you can still fit? I think so. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think it'll be yeah. a problem. But yeah, they, he said. He said the reason they set the BMI at 39 is because there's so much tissue between your heart and the scanner that mm-hmm. it's it could make it you know, hard to read, you know, they couldn't get a good read on it. So, uh, yeah. so that's why they're, they're uh-huh. like, you know, they, they put that there, not necessarily whether you can fit in the machine or not. So I was like, Oh, okay. Right. So, so yeah. Exciting. That'll be Exciting. Let me know when you get the results. I, I've seen so many now I can semi interpret it for you. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Cool. I've, I've, se- I've seen a lot over the last couple of years. It's a, you usually get like a CD or something like that, and you can just have a little application to open that stuff up. And uh, yeah. I always make sure I get mine because you can make videos about it, and then you can show it to people. So it's, you see how big my heart is. You see how generous, right? And uh, you know, <laughs> right. And so much, so much love is flowing from this heart. <laughs> Besides this little part, this is obstructed here, but everywhere That's else, <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> yeah, no love here. <laughs> right. No, but I mean, based on what you're doing, I mean, your blood work looks very, very good. A couple of adjustments and you should be able to uh, keep kicking ass. 